What I'm about to show you are the top 10 best free to play features inside of Pet Simulator 99. So stick around till the end if you want to know the best free to play thing that Pet Simulator 99 has added. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out on the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. So at number 10, we have glitches and bugs. And this one is obviously going to be at the end because these, you know, get patched pretty quickly and pretty often. But, you know, when they actually find the glitches and bugs, they are super OP and you have to make sure they take advantage of them before they get patched. And most glitches slash bugs are actually free to play, which means that anyone can take advantage of it. And that's pretty cool. An example of this would be like the infinite seashell glitch with the uh, boss chest inside of the obby world. But that thing definitely got nerfed and I actually never did it before. So I don't have footage of that but it was probably the most op way to obtain seashells back when the glitch still worked at number nine we have clan battles and these are actually pretty nice that pretty much even free to play people can obtain any of these rewards you just have to be in a good, really good clan like i'm not sure yet. you probably have to join one of these but the only uh downside to this is that you have to be like a pretty op free to play person to actually you know even obtain these but it's still pretty nice that not not just pay to win people have to you know can obtain uh, these huge pets and stuff uh, pretty much anybody inside of the clan can so I don't know. I, I feel like everyone inside like the top clans are going to be pay to win. But if you go down here, maybe in the bottom clans, there'll be some people who are completely free to play and they'll be able to obtain some of these rewards. Number eight is a feature that many people take for granted, especially free to plays, and that is going to be the teleport feature right here. And as you can see, this is pretty much unlockable after I believe rebirth one. So it's you know obtainable to pretty much anybody here. But the reason why I put it down so low on this list is because there's another feature that does slightly make this less OP. But the teleport menu is a great if you're trying to go back to like the spawn world or something like that so this is definitely something that many people like you can you can even go to the like void spawn spawn world tech world it's like all of this right here so you have, you have a pretty good ui right here and this is you know very op for a free-to-play person because it not only saves time but it also allows free to plays to progress a whole lot faster at number six we have the mastery and achievements and now these things are pretty nice because the achievements can give you pretty much free-to-play uh, items and so as you can see there's a bunch of them right here i'm um, probably the best one is going to be like the open eggs one it's going to give you a free huge hunter which is extremely nice and also master which is even better and this thing actually gives you a ton of perks that are super op and if you take advantage of these as a free to play you'll be much more op inside of the game at number six we have the ability to have golden rainbow and shiny pets so as you can see this pretty much ties back to the mastery but it's just probably one of the most op perks so as you can see in the pet mastery you have you know one percent for a golden pet and then rainbow pets as well and then if you collect shiny relics you pretty much also get these shiny chances so it is super op for anyone trying to hatch these without the magic eggs game pass so make sure you take advantage of this all right so now we're on to the top five so now at number five we have ultimates and now these things are extremely op if we go into ultimates right here as you can see i have a tornado on right now and you can actually get pretty much any of these so as you can see you have a tornado and if i just do r it pretty much helps you a ton so as you can see all my breakables are pretty much like obliterating right now it's insane how op an ultimate could be now obviously you know the better the ultimate the more the more it's going to cost but a free to play person can get anything for any price you know it just depends how good you are but ultimates are super op because you can even level them up to make them even more op and so if you are a free to play person make sure to not forget about them because they can help you break breakables a ton faster number four is overlooked by a ton of people but it is the fact that you can get huge pets completely for free inside of pet simulator 99 now obviously it's very hard to actually get these huge pets but the fact that we can even get them for free is just amazing so as you can see this is just right here is an example uh the active huge pets right here you can also get them out of mini games and stuff like as you can see a huge prison cat right here another free to play huge and although these huge pets are not that easy to collect being able to get one completely for free is just amazing at number three we have auto hatch so as you can see this thing is unlockable after rebirth two and uh all the this, like setting right here is unlockable after rebirth six i believe so as you can see we have auto hatch charged eggs and golden eggs but auto hatch is probably the only important one here because look this thing literally lets you afk eggs without this you would not be able to afk eggs unless you had an auto clicker which many people would also still use but the thing is it just weighs your to auto hatch with the built-in auto feature and at number two we have none other than the egg machine and the pet equips like as you can see the pet equips it lets you have and equip more pets inside of the game and then the egg machine lets you hatch way more eggs to be able to have a higher chance to even potentially get a huge pet and so i don't know about you but that feature is just super op like i don't 
I don't, I don't think any game really has that, like, where it can hatch, like, 99 eggs at once. I feel like Pet Simulator has one of the highest egg hatch amounts out of any simulator game. And before I say number one, let me know down below in the comments what you think is the best free-to-play feature inside of Pet Simulator 99. All right, drumroll, please. The best free-to-play feature inside of the game is going to be the hoverboard, because this thing, I don't know about you, but it literally allows you to go around the whole map. Look how, look how OP this thing is. It's so OP. Like, I feel like 90% of people never even walk like I do right here. Most people just use the hoverboard. And I guess you might disagree that this feature is a little bit worse than what I just stated for number two. But in my opinion, I think the hoverboard just takes on the lead just a slightly. The reason why I put it down slightly is because there's a cap here, as you can see, at 99. So you can actually hatch more than 99, which is unfortunate. And hoverboards are just great. Like, you can also put skins on them, which is amazing as well. But let me know down below your favorite free-to-play feature inside of the game. But if you want to know the most OP method to earn diamonds inside of Pet Simulator 99, make sure to check out this video right here.